we talked about a lot this week is Mr. Jared Stanky. Yeah, you know, there were some unique sounds going on at High Point, and that was the sound of the 125 two stroke. Jared what, what sound does that make, Jimmy? <laughs> Zing! Zing? I don't yeah. know. Whatever it makes. Noise. But, anyways, yeah. it was cool to see him out there. A lot of times we see two strokes trying to qualify, but they're 252 strokes yep. in the 450 class, which is a little bit more competitive. 125 two strokes are slow. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> oh, much. Yeah. It's, uh, the 250F is a much better bike to be riding in that class. So it was great to see him out there qualifying in the 125 class or in the 250F class on the 125. But we caught up with Jerry Stanky, Stanky earlier and we're going to see what he has to say about the season so far. I mean, he rode great. I'm surprised he qualified, to be honest. So that's a great job by him. But you're basically a sideshow. You're not, you're at a huge disadvantage. Yep. Don't you want to do as well as you can? Maybe get points, maybe make more purse money, make your entry back? Why are you on a 125 and just being a sideshow? The 2015 season has been uh, really good for me so far. You know, I started the season out in Arena Cross. I got ninth overall in the championship. I got two main event wins. I also got my first overall career win. Now I moved on to the YZ125 here for Thermotech Cool It and the rest of the Outdoor Nationals. Jeremy from Thermotech and Mike Weiser. And Jeremy's like, you know, I got a pretty sweet 125. And I decided, you know, let's let's give it a go. You know, make good publicity for everyone, for Thermotech and myself and Mike Weiser and Jeremy. You know, it's been a pretty crazy how much exposure we're getting from all this. Just decided to go with the YZ125 because I feel I could do the same on this bike as I could a 250F, but get way more publicity on the 125. I went 15-15 last weekend, you know, everyone's going to say, oh yeah, that's a great ride, and that, that's, a, that's an awesome ride, don't get me wrong, but, you know, no one's going to look at you and say, oh wow, that was, that was sick, that was really, truly sick, you know, but on the two-stroke, going 27-27, you know, that's a great accomplishment. You know, me and Jeremy did some researching last night, and the last person to finish inside the top 30 overall was Brett Metcalf in 2005. We're pretty excited about that. The fans are crazy. I think I've gained about 4,000 followers on Instagram. That's due to the 125. You know, the fans over the fence are, are crazy, you know. Every single time I hit the uphill triple at high point, I could hear air horns consistently, people taking their t-shirts off and waving them around every single time I was coming around. You know, the, the fans at high point were great. I can't wait for the fans here at Bud's Creek, and I definitely can't wait for the fans at Red Bud. I don't feel much faster on the 125. I guess, yeah, you do feel faster, but in all reality, are you going faster? Probably not, but... I definitely feel a lot sicker and a lot cooler on the 125. I got a few riders here that are buddies that I've known for a while, such as uh, Matthew Bichelia and Chris Aldridge, uh, Jordan Smith. They all came up to me and were like, dude, you're crazy. That That's awesome that you're out there doing it. You know, they're, they're actually pretty pumped I was out here doing it. Can't thank those guys enough, too, for uh, helping me out. For sure want to get this thing inside the top 20. At least one moto here at Bud's Creek. Red Bud, we're going to go for two motos inside the top 20 and then just consistently finish inside the top 20 from there on out. Unfortunately, I don't get paid in this sport. We can do whatever we want. We got to ride a 125, and that's... That's what we wanted to do. And I'm going to score points on the 125. I know I will. For all those guys out there that uh, have no faith in me, you guys are going to be uh, wrong here in a couple motos.